I wanted to make this video around the time Sonic Colors was actually announced, but since I was trying to get footage to make other videos and trying to finish up other videos, I really didn't get time to actually work on this. But I kind of need to make this video because uh, there's something about it I just have to say. Regarding Sonic Colors itself, for those of you who know it was just recently announced, there's only one trailer for it and no real gameplay footage shown. Some screenshots have been shown in Nintendo Power, but uh, beyond that, we really don't have anything else to go by except for the details that were also announced with the trailer. Now, the trailer itself didn't really impress me that much. I mean, yeah, it looked nice. It looked like it had the same kind of style that Sonic Unleashed had, which is good, but it really didn't show anything, so there was nothing to really get excited for except that we were going to see another Sonic game. But it was the details that caught my attention, and it's because of the details and it's because of Sonic Colors that I'm no longer working on Forbidden Fruit 5, Sonic the Cliché. That video is now cancelled. Why? Well, it's because the ideas I wanted to put in, it feels like they're already being used for this, so it would be kind of pointless. Though, it wouldn't hurt for me to describe what I actually wanted to talk about in the video. I can at least do that. The reason it was called Sonic the Cliché, I was going to talk about the opening to Sonic Unleashed, and why he was turned into a werehog. I mean, why a werehog? Of all the things he could have been transformed into, why a werehog? I think a better cliche would have been if he had some kind of mutation now towards the Chaos Emeralds that would give him a new special power and ability. Okay, take for example, if he had the red Chaos Emerald, he'd now be able to use fire or go through fire. The same thing could be said for the electric shield and the bubble shield. You can have those power-ups and the Emerald's ability back. Now, I really couldn't think of anything else, so I'd be borrowing the elements from the Elemental Stones that were from Bomberman 64, the second attack. Those of you who have played that, you kind of know what I'm talking about. Those bombs had different abilities and different powers based on the Elemental Stone, which... which were elements. So, Sonic would have something based kind of roughly on that. Now, the reason why I'm not doing that video anymore is because after reading the details about Sonic Colors, it feels like they're kind of already doing that. The little alien creatures called Wisps, I think they're called Wisps, every time you rescue one, they give you a new ability. Uh, one of them can let you drill, and Mario Galaxy 2 fans, stop right there, he's not copying, he was doing it before, he just never really had it in the game. And one of them lets you shoot out a laser. Now while these aren't the exact ideas I wanted to see, it's kind of the same idea. I mean, Sonic is now having these new abilities attached to him, without having to lose the sense of speed. So in a sense, I'm actually looking forward to Sonic Colors because it feels like I get to see my ideas actually being put in a game. Now, all I have to do is hope that they get the controls and the camera right and I'm good. Just make it like the daytime stages from Sonic Unleashed and I'm good. The only problem I have with it is its release date, Fall 2010. I wish I could just go up to Sega and just go, No! No Sega, bad! Bad Sega, no! Don't do it! Because as you know, Sonic the Hedgehog 4 was delayed until fall 2010. So when you have two games that are from the same character coming out at the same time, this is not good for sales. It's almost like you're going to compete with each other. Also, you'll have nothing else later on down the road. I mean, look what happened when Sonic Unleashed and Sonic and the Black Knight came out. They were too close together, and we basically had nothing left for the rest of 2009. They should have delayed Sonic and the Black Knight. I mean, they delayed Sonic 4, which is good. I'm proud of them for doing that. But they really need to delay this one too. I mean, unless they feel like it's 100% ready to go, and even then I'd still be like, no, just delay just for time. Let us play Sonic 4, then put out Sonic Colors. You know, learn a lesson from what Nintendo did with the last two Mario games that came out. Super Mario Galaxy 2, they said it was so close to being completed, they could have released it in 2009. But because New Super Mario Bros. Wii was going to come out in 2009, they really didn't want to have two Mario games right then. So they pushed Super Mario Galaxy 2 back, even though it was ready to go earlier. I thought that was a good move. I could play through New Super Mario Bros. Wii and enjoy it, and then once I finally got a little tired of it, I could go and play Super Mario Galaxy 2. So... That's basically my only thoughts on it right now. As far as the Forbidden Fruit for Sonic, the only thing I can do right now is just do it for the other characters, but 
you know, I kind of want to have something to do for Sonic, so I'm going to have to wait until I get some new ideas or something else to do for Sonic. So I'm going to have to think about some new abilities or new attacks that Sonic can have before I make the Forbidden Fruit 5 video, which will then have a new name. Why? Because there's no point in calling it Sonic the Cliché if it's nothing related to it anymore. <laughs>